Hi, I'm Jay Cushion, NGG Sire Analyst, and I'm very excited to bring to you Partner in Brown Swiss, our new video webinar series here that we are really excited to talk to you about creating the next new generation genetics bull mother from your herd. This is an invitation. This is an invitation to the party. This is a party that you may recognize when you open the NGG catalog, you see names and prefixes like Hilltop Acres and Brown Haven from Canada and Culp Terra, among many others you recognize in our book. Well, now this is your chance to be part of that elite group and take the next NGG Sire catalog in the year 20 anything and open it up and see your prefix. If this sounds like something you're ready to do, then follow along here at Partner Brown Swiss and we're going to talk to you and show you step by step how to achieve this goal. This all started because NGG has a desire to, to have new bull mothers and new cow families to use. We have been listening to you. You're asking for new bull mothers. You're asking for new farms. You're asking for new cows. Well, we can't do that without your help. We want you to know there is a possibility that any breeder could have a bull mother in their herd with the right tools. There are two ways to achieve this result. Number one, you follow along to the Brown Swiss Association and see the list of top GPPR females, both heifers and cows. And you reach out to a breeder and you can purchase one of those animals or purchase embryos from one of those animals to create your own high genetic animals. This is a route you can take, and this is a route some have taken, but many don't have the financial means to do this. So route two is to create this from your own herd. And this is possible if you partner with us here in Brown Swiss. There's a chance that you could create cows to make your own bull mothers that we're gonna take. The second, with that partnership with Brown Swiss, is the goal for you to get the bull mother, and we are here to provide the insight and assist you to get to that goal. This is a chance to take your favorite cow, or your best milker, or your champion show cow, and turn her into the next new generation genetics bull mother, or champions collection bull mother as well. The process, it is a long-term commitment. We make no mistake, this is something you have to invest a lot of time in. You're looking to build your own herd at realistically a five to 10 year timeline, but this can happen and exceptions do happen all the time. We have had opportunities where a bull like Richard came in and he was tested and though his parent average was were okay, as you could see, he skyrocketed up the high G type charts, skyrocketed up for milk and became a champion's collection star and is one of the best proven bulls around. So how do you start this? How do you get into the party or where do we begin? That's what we're here to tell you. We start two times a year, and one is actually, the timing is right, coming up here in March. I download, I download a list of the high parent average heifers for PPR. This is a list that we take. I take a list, I pull out some, we get some pedigrees, and we narrow the list down to animals that we are interested to genomic test to possibly have for bull mothers. Please, I have sent many of this, I have a great response rate, probably 50 to 60% of you have responded, but that means 40% of you are missing out on the biggest opportunity. We're inviting you. We're also willing to invest with you because with that, we offer to pay for half of the cost if you sign over the first rights agreement to a first choice bull to NGG. What a deal. We're going to pay for half the cost to get you genomics that help you breed your cows and of course, help us find bull mothers. As you can see, if you wanna be pro truly proactive, when we send out these letters, you should contact us and you should be testing the top 10 to 20% of your herd, depending on how aggressive you wanna go about this. But if you're truly serious about this project, I would encourage you to go the full 20%. Talk to us, let's work through your pedigrees, take a few different cow families, and let's see if we can find those special outliers because some of the families you may think are your best will become your best. 
but there will be many that will surprise you in such a positive way. So, what do you do after you receive the genomic discovery letter from NGG? You're going to fill out your paperwork, you're going to send us a sample, and New Generation Genetics will take care of testing your animals for genomics. Once they're done, we will send you the results and give you our classes of our classes of uh, our, our classes of how we how we distinguish them. If you receive an animal that comes back sky high, and this can happen to any animal. Now, realistically, this happens about five percent of the time. Those go into our yes group. Those are animals that fall into the top 50 of the GPPR chart. When you hit that home run. We will contact you directly about making a mating and making a bull right away. However, as I said, that's a 5% thing. So for the other 95% of you, we have what you're given is, you're given the genomic results on your animal. You are giving something incredibly unique compared to the other animals in your herd. You're given a sneak peek at their genetic potential and also what they can genetically move on. This is the biggest opportunity I see missed when we do the genomic discovery program. Many see this as the end or a failure or a setback. You need to look at it in the right light. This is just the beginning. You cannot build a house from the top down. You build a house from the foundation. You pour the foundation, you build the house on top, and you make a strong structure. Building a pedigree and a cow family is no different. So take that genomic result. It's like going to the car dealership. You get a peek under the hood. You get to see what's there. And you know the best part? You get a peek under the hood of this animal. The other animal standing in the pen that you haven't tested, she could be anywhere in genomic potential. She could be anywhere that she passes on. So you already have an advantage over her. You have an advantage over people who aren't testing. So this is truly, I think, the part I really want to stress. When you get that first result back, it's not the end. It is the beginning. And we are here to help you take that along the way. So how do we do that? Let's take some examples. Let's say you have an animal that is a parent average of 120 PPR. Let's say today she comes back at 110. Yes, that's not high enough to go directly into my mating them. However, you are at a good spot. If you're over 100 GPPR, you're looking at an animal that's in the top half of the breed. You're looking at something you can build on. And do not see that as a disappointment because they came down. See that as here's the opportunity where we can build them up. Because to be 110 GPPR, they will be high in something, whether that's components, whether that's DPR, whether that's utter composite, or productive life, any of the PPR traits. She will be high in something, she will be low in something. Well, here's the beauty. Compared to the animal next to her untested, we now know where we can double down on her positives and also bring up her negatives. So therefore, in breeding two animals side by side, one tested and one untested, I can promise you nine times out of 10, the tested animal, mated correctly, will do better than any mating we could come up with with the other animal as far as genetic potential. So, the heifer you have the result on. This is huge, this is huge progress. You have things at your disposal and the tools. So how do you do this? You talk to NGG. The next thing you do is we discuss that, we discuss that with you. You will call us. If you're ready to talk, we're ready to help you mate because this is what we do. We're ready to do the matings and we are ready to help you build that foundation. We would do that through sire selection. What we have been doing is, a lot of it is, we would like to double down on the positives. Let's say your animal is high for DPR, she's also high for outer composite, but she's a bit low for productive life, and maybe a bit low on, on fat. What we would wanna do is we would work with you to find the right bull to accentuate those good things, and also try and help out those lower traits. But we can't, again, do this overnight. This is a step-by-step -step process, so we won't make everything happen on the first time. We need to pick and choose sometimes which parts we need to do. And when you're going to pick and choose, always pick doubling down on the positives. Next, 
the next step, you use this breeding, you use this mating. Also, you may notice now, we've become invested with you. You're our partner now. The second generation is born. We test her. Let's see where we're at. Sometimes we've made enough genetic progress, you go right into our maybe category. Our maybe category is kind of those animals that are between 50 and to 100 in ranking, and you would look at those, we would put a mating down, and we would test the resulting offspring, and we have a decent chance at the end of the day of maybe making a bull that goes in, maybe we don't. But what you've done is, hopefully, we've made progress. Then, of course, it becomes a step-by-step. -step. We do this a third time. We've made progress the second generation. Now we have new results. Now we have new things to talk about. And now we're going to move into making the third generation. If we've only found ourselves in the maybe group, that's fine. We're building because we were in the no group. Now we're in the maybe group. Let's find our way to the yes group. I will tell you, you may be noticing something. This is a long-term project. This takes patience. This takes commitment. And this takes a partner along the way. Well, we're here. We need bulls for the next 20 years. So if you're here too and you're ready, you have the patience, come with us. We have various herds right now that are in this process. They are either within three years to seven years of working their way up. Some of them found themselves looking for animals to get in the top 100. They stuck with the process. Sometimes there's setbacks. Sometimes we don't make the progress we want. But stay the course. Stay the course. If you've decided, I'm, I'm pushing my animals for components and I want to bull high components, don't go back because of one setback. Let's just recreate, talk to us, and we'll get a new mating and go again. Every, if genetics were easy, we'd all be a geneticist. Trust me. So, we have herds in between the three to seven mark of this. They are building. I have one herd, outstanding herd, got frustrated with the process. I encourage them, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. You know what they have today? Two animals in the top 30 GPPR, working with contracts with new generation genetics. Five years of work in this, setbacks along the way, patience, commitment, and a partner in Brown Swiss, new generation genetics. It can happen. So, in conclusion, we're here. Just remember, this is an investment of time. I'm going to keep stressing the same thing. This takes time. This takes help. We're here to help you. The Brown Swiss breeds a family. We're here for you. So, at the end of the day, you need to decide, are you, what are you going to chase if you want to make that bull mother? Do you want to make the next Champions Collection bull mother? Great. We need those. Chase the type and other composite. Do you want the high component bull? We need those too. Do you want to be the health trade king? We need it. Or are you just going right to the PPR? We need all of those things. If you see, New Generation offers a wide variety of bulls for everything. Because you know what? People breed for everything. So you decide what you want. Communicate it with us. It's not our job to tell you where you want your herd to go. And also where you want your bull to be. I will tell you, luckily, as Brothers 3, we were able to put two bulls in stud at one point 21 years ago in 2000. The bull was high type and high milk, and that's what we have always been about at Brothers 3. But your herd's different, so you need to breed what's true to your breeding. And if you want to be in the next new generation genetic sire catalog in the year 20, fill in the blank, you can talk to us, let's work with your herd, but we are your partner in Brown Swiss, and we want to be your partner the whole way, from step one to putting the bull in our stud. This is a team. Join the team. Now's your chance. We are here to be with you. We're here to be along the way. But again, patience, commitment, love of the breed, and your partner in Brown Swiss, New Generation Genetics.